Hey Internet, I know everybody is excited to get a hold of the new pencil for the iPad Pro and I managed to get one of these by simply shelling out some cash and getting it on eBay and uh, I just really wanted it for work purposes um, and I was leaving town and needed it quicker than I could get it and so I went ahead and shelled out so now I've got my keyboard, smart keyboard and the Apple Pencil and um, somebody on eBay is filthy rich. But what I wanted to talk about today was the fact that there's nowhere to put this pencil. Everybody has uh, been talking about this on the internet, but you know, the smart keyboard does not have with it any anywhere to store it. It's not magnetic to where it could click. I've seen different solutions come out um, that none, none, none really available to ship uh, right away, but different ideas. Um, one is to plug something into the lightning connector and it would loop through. Another one is a little magnetic sleeve for the pencil by MoxieWare that could then click on there, um, which would be nice. Uh, I've actually placed an order for that, but it won't arrive for a little while. But what I decided to try in the meantime is uh, this is a product you can get on Amazon. It's an adhesive sticker. Um, so this is a little pen loop. Um, and the, it, it perfectly fits the pencil. Uh, the pencil will, uh, well, I can't really do this since I'm holding my phone with one hand, but uh, uh, bear with me one second and I'll slide it right through. I slid it through, it slides through without any effort, yet it's snug. It won't, uh, won't fall out on its own unless it expands, I suppose, with use, but um, it's snug, it's perfect. Now the question is, where do you put it? Um, so it has an adhesive backing on it. Now, um, if, since this is also the smart keyboard, I've determined that there's really only one option for where you put it. This smart keyboard folds out in a specific way, um, and it, it uh, requires all parts of it to be able to bend and, in a certain way. And as you can see, there's just you know there's really no way you can put something. Um, adhesive on it and with the pen loop in it in a way that would block off you know parts of that case and so really the only place you could put it is right in the middle this this particular segment of it does not actually um, get folded on and so theoretically what I could do is stick that on there like that um, it uh, you know maybe not the most elegant solution but uh, kind of one that it, you know, it looks like a notebook with a, a pen, you know, looped in there. And then the only thing there that, sh that you're going to notice is when you fold it over, this will now be on the back side. Um, like, let's say you're using it as a tablet, you know, um, at that point, you'd be folding over to the point where the pen loop would be on the back side there. But since that happens to also be where there's a little bit of extra gap from the keyboard, it should be just about perfect to where it it, um, it would it would work. So I'm going to try that in a second, and we'll see how it goes. So as you can see here, I've now tarnished my brand new shiny smart keyboard case with this little adhesive sticker um, it's on there pretty well. You know the reason why I need this is because I'm going to be literally replacing paper. I'm a lawyer. I've got, uh, um, I normally carry a lot of paper. I'm going to be replacing it, but this is going to be in a stack of notebooks and folders and things like that. And I just can't be losing this pencil. It's just one of those things that um, may not look super nice, but it's practical. And so here we go. You know, it's on there. And now I guess what I'm going to do is demonstrate a couple things here. One is the fact that when you open the device um, and you fold it over to use as a tablet, now you'll notice that there is a little bit extra gap there, but it doesn't seem to bother anything. You know, um, I can hold it just as I do. It's kind of putting a little bit of pressure on the pencil, but not much pressure. Um, I think that's going to be fine. That's going to be just fine. And the other Thing I'm going to show is 
how it looks when you assemble this deal as an actual keyboard, which is a little bit hard to do one-handed, honestly. But uh, there we go. Installing the latest beta, that's why that's showing that way. But so here we go. It's assembled as a um, you know, it's a smart keyboard, and the way it looks then is that the uh, pencil is sitting comfortably, not bothering anything, um, right on the end there. So, yeah, this is going to be a fine solution for me for now. You know, honestly, I think it's better than trying to, um, you know, I'm not sure that I would like it with a magnetic sleeve on it. I kind of like the feel of it just as it is. The magnetic sleeve might be a better, more elegant solution if it's powerful enough to really stay on there. I guess we're going to have to wait till the MoxieWare thing comes out. As far as putting something into the lightning port and holding it in there, you know, I guess I'm just not totally comfortable with the idea of using my lightning port that way. I think it could damage the port if it puts pressure on it in the wrong way or something like that. But uh, anyway, that thing's a Kickstarter project and who knows when that's going to come out. I mean, Kickstarter stuff are notorious for basically never coming out. Um, I'm still waiting on like some watch band that I ordered a while back, but um, anyway, I just totally uh, tore that iPad right off there. But um, anyway, you know, that's all I wanted to show you guys. Um, take a look at it. Um, I'll put a, a link to this product um, in the comments or in the description so you can check it out. But I think this works just fine.